into different sample editor. There we go. Now that's just our sample. You can see we start at point, but then the loop point at the bottom, um, just the sample loop. So you can adjust the the way that that loops there. But for this point, what I'm going to do is actually make a very small loop in, indeed. So if I get a very short loop here, let's just try and see what that says. Yeah, and I'm going to just trim the start point off as well so it doesn't have that that really slow attack on the loop. Here we go. Okay, now what happens if we make that really short, really fine, get right into the transient? Let's, let's zoom in a bit as well. Um, let's start that bit. Let's get a bit more meat on the uh, actual transient there. And we're going to get right close up into that transient. Now what's going to happen is that transient becomes an oscillator and we can create synthesis. Yeah. So the higher you play your note and the lower you play your note, you've actually got a synthesizer. Now that's playing it slower, so it's going to loop more the waveform. You can actually see the waveform moving around oscillating. So at this stage what I'm going to do now is just save that instrument. Okay, I'm just going to save it, save it as um, toxic and that's um, toxic too. I might have done one before. So I'm going to save that. Okay, and now that is saved in your presets now. So as soon as you load it up, you see you've got Toxic 2. Yeah. Okay. So now, whenever I play on the keyboard, I haven't got a MIDI keyboard attached, but I can play it on the keyboard pad here. Okay, I've got like a synthesizer now. Um, it doesn't have to be like this, this is what I chose to do to show you this technique. You can then adjust the attack decay and the sustain and release, the ADSR, it's attack decay sustain release. So I'm going to give it a bit more attack. If I put a lot on, you'll hear what that sounds like. It kind of fades in. Now the release is fading it away, so I'm going to have a shorter attack actually and a longer release. And when I let go, it dies away. Okay. And likewise, decay as well. Just gives that waveform a little bit more shape. Now you can also turn on this filter up the top here. And the cutoff and resonance are really handy to play with. I'm going to turn this on to 24 bit. So now, if I turn the, the cutoff down, you can actually begin to shape your sound. I can also get some resonance. actually created quite a nice synth there, that's just playing a third. And we create all sorts of other harmonics from using that resonance tool. Okay, so you've actually created a synth there just from a very short um, piece of audio there. Now if we narrow that even more down, okay, and um, what I'm going to do is actually create a really short attack and a very short release as well. Decay much shorter again. Okay, now I'm going to, it's creating like a, a kick drum sound. So if I play that much lower, um, bass, I don't think I stretch the sample out on here. So I need to go back to my edit window and stretch that right down the bottom so I can play it much lower. I might even change the key of it to put it right up the top so I can go right down low. You can hear that looping round because it's so low. Yeah. Okay, and I'm gonna boost I'm gonna boost the volume as well. Now that's kind of making a, a kick drum sound. It's like a little clip, isn't it? So I just made a kick drum straight out of Britney Spears' voice. Um, like an electronic synthetic kick drum just by using some of the filtering um, and the envelope 2 here which is the attack to case sustain release a normal shape for any synthesizer basic synthesis and just layering one zone on top of each other so just to recap um, I'm going to save that again um, what we did was find a sample we wanted to use made a selection in here in the sample editor, okay, which is here, 
and we've made the selection and save selection as. Uh, we then made a new track, put the XS24 on, gone to the edit function, um, created, saved the new instrument, created a new zone which layered it across the keyboard, uploaded the sample, um, you've loaded the sample there, um, and then there's explored various different functions, uh, including reverse here, the loop, if you tick the loop button, um, and you can then reveal that, that is, open that in the sample editor, and you can adjust your loop settings there to create this sample editing technique, which is created in the synthesis. Okay, that's me done for now. Um, I look forward to doing a few more sessions. I'll see you again soon. Thank you.